Jay, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank and you very we, much. Yeah, we, it's summer, and we don't want to have the oven on, so we don't have our oven on. We don't. We're going to make yeah. a nice, cool dish. Yes, nice and fresh. So we've got compressed watermelon and tomato salad. Well, Looks compressed, compressed watermelon. How would you compress the watermelon? So uh, we, we cut the watermelon into nice, chunky cubes and then mm -hmm. uh, vacuum seal it. So what it does is it intensifies the flavor, the texture. Uh, and just gives it a overall a uh, little bit more of, a, of an appealing uh, uh, taste and it texture. Looks it looks dense. It looks very dense. It is very dense. Uh, alt alternatively, if you, if you don't have a vacuum sealer, uh, <laughs> most people might not, um, you can very simply just cut, cut your watermelon and your tomatoes and make this salad as well. So tell us about this dish. Okay, so this dish, uh, what, what we'll do, uh, very simple, uh, put this together. So we've got uh, our watermelon, obviously, uh, tomatoes. Now the nice thing about this dish, you can have it uh, alone by itself, or uh, you know if you do feel like cooking, uh, grilled shrimp, uh, maybe a chicken breast, mm -hmm. or some scallops. Uh, scallops would be could, great. Could certainly go on this dish. Um, as I said, very simple uh, to uh, to start with. We've got salt, pepper, and then a, a couple little hidden ingredients in there. Uh, I've got some uh, chili flake into the mix. Love that. Also some fennel pollen, so some nice sweet floral flavors. Uh, to that, and then um, some honey, white balsamic vinegar to give it a little tang, and some Meyer lemon oil. Nice. So nice, nice fresh flavors starting out there. We'll just kind of give it a little mix. A gentle mix. Gentle you mix. You don't want to bruise it. No. And then right into the bowl here. Uh, going on top, we've got lavender goat cheese. At Jack Dusty, we call that uh, our purple haze. And uh, you make that in-house? We do. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that's our little nickname for go. that. Uh, that particular cheese. So we've got lavender goat cheese. We'll just crumble a couple pieces on top of that. And, uh, and then finish off with some fresh basil. Very nice. And right. again, you could top this with some scallops, which would be beautiful. Would you let the cool, uh, scallops cool off before you put them on or put them on hot? Uh, yeah, you can put them on hot. Either mm -hmm. way, your preference. Uh, I would probably take them right out of the saute pan or, or off the grill if you wanted mm -hmm. to grill the scallops, that sort of thing. Um, so. Uh, this weekend, I am headed to the Rocky Mountains. To take a taste of Sarasota back to the Rockies. I'm taking some of, some of Sarasota. I've got a few of our staple dishes from Jack Dusty that I'm taking to our Ritz-Carlton property at Bachelor Gulch, and uh, this is one of them. Uh, and what are the others going to be? Uh, Sarasota Chipino, mm -hmm. which uh, is, is certainly going to uh, showcase our, our fresh seafood in the area. Uh, I've got blistered shishito peppers with uh, Anna Maria Island Botaga. They'll uh, like shaved that. over the top yep. of that and then a key lime strawberry shortcake. Do the different properties in the Ritz-Carlton do that with each other, bring a chef from one to another? Uh, it happens from time to time. I was, uh, I was invited to do so and, and, and didn't have to think twice to say yes on that. So It's a special uh, honor. Looking forward to it, absolutely. Good, and you would uh, pr uh, serve this right after you've prepared it, and what are you topping it off absolutely. with? Absolutely, a little more chili flake. I yep. like it spicy. Uh, it balances well with the sweetness, sweet and spicy. Uh, you've got a nice savory flavor with uh, with the goat cheese and the salt, the pepper, and uh, the floral comes out with the lavender and the fennel pollen as well. So all in all, how long would it take to, to prepare, at least this part of it? Oh, this part of it? No, no, no time at all. No time at all. So if you just cut your watermelon, cut your, uh, your tomatoes, uh, you can put this together in no time. So if you're short on time after work, uh, this is a great little fresh salad to put together. Excellent. Glass of white wine. Well, Jay Norris, thank you for visiting us here on the uh, noon show. You. If you want this recipe, you can go to our website, mollysandcoast.com. Give you all the details. Very easy. It smells delicious, and we'll be tasting this a little bit later on.